Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we will be looking at Azure PowerShell. Azure PowerShell is a set of commandlets for managing Azure resources directly from PowerShell command line. So whatever the resources you want to manage directly, you can manage with the PowerShell like we did with the Azure CLI. Same way, you can also do it with the PowerShell. So PowerShell is designed uh, to make it easy to learn and get started with um, PowerShell and it also provides a powerful features for your automation. Let's have a look on it You know what kind of uh, things we can uh, have to you know do it for the setting up this PowerShell. The first thing is uh, it works with uh, PowerShell 5.1 or higher uh, on, on the Windows platforms. Also PowerShell released uh, PowerShell Core 6.x uh, so starting from here uh, it can also work on Linux and Unix environments. It's not just the uh, Windows anymore uh, unlike the 5.1 so now the 7.0 is are getting released a PowerShell code you can check out my course I did released a PowerShell and PowerShell code a course and coming back to the uh, if you want to learn about the PowerShell uh, version what's the current version of the PowerShell you can check out the PS version table dot PS version so this would list the current um, PowerShell version it would list whether it is a 5.1 or 6 plus or whatever the version it is and coming back to uh, if you are running on Windows 10 most likely uh, you are on so you have already 5.1 so you no need to install on anything additional for installing the PowerShell however you need to install the modules so let's go ahead and install with this command uh, you can install for the module and uh, that would actually tells the installation should happen on for all users if you don't want that to happen for all users you can scope it for current user here and coming back to the next one you can also install if you have not connected to internet uh, from internet connected machine you can uh, download for the offline and then get it installed at a point and also you can lock in with the PowerShell so the way would be uh, when you actually wanted to log in, you need to use a power a PowerShell command like called connect hyphen AZ account. So AZ account would uh, pop up a username and password that to be entered in a browser. Once you enter, that goes redirects to your PowerShell. So you would be connected to your subscription, and from there you should be able to manage and uh, create the required resources. What if, if you are already using the PowerShell but you want to update that uh, specific module because every day or maybe I would say not exactly every day but very frequently Microsoft updates all the PowerShell commands because they are introducing new features, new products, new services. So the PowerShell commandlets will be changing. So new will come up and new options are available. So if you want to you know, get that module to be updated, you need to uh, go for for this command line to install the module like install hyphen module name of that uh, would you know start with the AZ and that says you and hello uh, clobber underscore hyphen force so that concludes the PowerShell one and let's jump into the demo